Hi everyone, this is Cindy and I'm here for a special edition. This is going to be a patriotic edition of cross stitch and I'm going to show you a bunch of pieces that I made that are patriotic and I'm also going to be showing you a bunch of patterns that I have that are patriotic. I hope you enjoy this episode and I am reaching out to the person who requested for me to do this video. I am sorry I'm a couple days late, but I have been busy. I've been out in the garden. I've been canning. <laughs> so I hope you don't mind. I'm not going to mention your name, but you know who you are. And this is dedicated to you. So we're going to get started. The first piece that I'm going to show you is it's called Home. And I had this dismounted on the star, and this comes off, has magnets on the back, and there's actually like magnets in here, so I just attach that. And that hangs in the patriotic room, so that's an awesome piece. Now this piece is in this book. I'm gonna show that to you. This is called Sand, Sea, and Crustitch. This is by Anna Field. This has a lot of patriotic and nautical patterns in it. It's an awesome, amazing book. Uh, so that is the first piece. Uh, the next piece I have is actually, this is an cross stitch magazine, an ornament issue, just cross stitch. It's called Noel, but this is patriotic to me, and this is in a blue bowl jar. I just have these. This is just in the bedroom uh, as a decoration. So that is in a Just Cross Stitch Ornament Issue magazine. What year? I don't know. Sorry. I'm not going to know all of these, so I'm just telling you right now. I might not know them all. Uh, the next piece, this is a Lizzie Kate piece. This is called red white and blue this is a really pretty uh this was a, a kit that i had gotten a while ago and that hangs in the patriotic bedroom uh the next piece i have let's see let me i have to reach for all these pieces this is definitely blackbird designs and that's in a booklet that I'm going to be showing you in a couple of minutes. It's a really pretty piece. This is a Lizzie K piece. Now this says summer, but to me, it's patriotic. So that stays in my patriotic room. And that is by Lizzie Kate. Now I have a bunch of small, so let me get those. Okay, so these are in the basket, and I want to say some of them aren't particularly patriotic, but they're red, white, and blue, so I put them in there. This is, uh, of course, that is my blue jay. It's got birds on the back. Super cute. And this, of course, is the cardinal. And I have the cardinal fabric on the back of that piece. Uh, this was made for me by Lynette uh, Homesteading on the Home Front. And that is Liberty. I love this piece. This I'm pretty sure is Lizzie Kate. Of course, it's got some flowers in it. That's the back. Love it. That's in the basket, and somebody else uh, made me this. I'm pretty sure Gisela made me this, and I don't know who does it, but super cute, very patriotic. That's a pillow. Home of the free. I don't know if that's Lizzie Kate or Little House Needleworks. 
<laughs> Don't quote me on this. I have no memory for stuff like this. That's cute. It's got the Patriotic. The flags on the back. This I'm pretty sure is Lucy Kate. Very cute. Very nautical. Very patriotic. This I'm pretty sure is Lizzie Kate too, Hope. It's cute. That is the back. This is just a little snippet bird that I did. I'm not quite sure where I even got that from. But it's patriotic. We have 4th of July. Now that's definitely Lizzie Key. That is the back. And then Land of the Free Stocking. I'm pretty sure Blackbird Designs. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> uh, so those are all of the um, patriotic pieces that I have now. They asked me to pull out all of my patriotic patterns now. I pulled as many as I could. I wasn't sure even how many I would have. Um, I have plenty, <laughs> of course. Um, definitely not as much as some people have, so. Let's get started on these. Now this is Lizzie Kate. And that is land that I love. This is a small piece. It's called a snippet. Let's see. And it's called land that I love. Okay. It's <laughs> the first one. I'm doing the small ones first. This is a country cottage needleworks. This is July Cottage. And these patterns are really, really tiny. But that is the July Cottage. And this is the one I just showed you, 4th of July. That's Lizzie Kate, and that is a flip it. Uh, this is uh, by Hindsight, Love USA. It looks like a stamp. It's not a big piece, it's uh, so cute though. Want to stitch it them all. <laughs> okay. This is where Liberty dwells. This is a uh, Glenshaw Gervais. Very patriotic. This is another Brenda Gervais holiday hoopla. This is Fourth of July. It has Uncle Sam in there. Very pretty. This one I really like. Let, f Let Freedom Ring, Abbey Rose Designs. That's such a pretty house. Love it. This is Basket of summertime. This is Brenda Gervais also. I was looking for the name. I'm like, why don't I see the name? It's cute. Heartstring samplery for spacious skies. That's another really cute house. I like the flowers on it. Uh, this is Waxing Moon Designs and this is Patriotic Trio. This is Little House Needleworks, My Dwelling Place. 
And I don't know if that was really patriarchy, but it has a flag in it. So to me, it has a flag over here. It's patriarchy. <laughs> Anything with a flag. Rise and Shine by Scissor Tail Designs. These are really cute. Have I really seen that before? Stars and Stripes, Little House Needleworks, and this is a really tiny pattern. Let's see if you can see that little. <laughs> it's tiny, tiny, tiny. This is Heart and Hand, Joyful Journal. This is July. Cute, that's a quick one. I wanna do them all though. <laughs> Don't we all? This is Heartstring Sampler, a grand old flag. And this is a pin drum. Super pretty. I've seen a couple people uh, do this. It's a beautiful piece. Love that. Erica Michaels, Sweet Freedom Berry. And on the back, so two different ways there. It's cute. I haven't done a berry yet. <laughs> I don't know why I want it, but mm. now this, this is Hello Summer by Paulette Stewart from Street Samplers. That's got the flag in it. It's cute. This is kitted out. Do me. <laughs> Do me next. I don't know. I'm gonna do them all. This is Festival Festive Little Fobs, Americana edition. And that is Heartstring Sampler. They're cute. Scarlet House, and this is called Hannah's Brownstone. It's got a nice flag in it over here. It's a pretty house. Super pretty. Uh, this is the Scarlet House, and this is Patriotic Shaker Box. It's pretty too. Heartstring Samplery, Stars and Stripes Forever, Stocking Ornament Number Three. That's pretty. This is Seaside Sparrow Artful Offerings. Now well, that's a patriotic sparrow. <laughs> it's cute. Americana Panorama, and this is Blue Ribbon Designs. That's a pretty pattern. I like doing those ornaments. Hmm. This is the Prairie Score, and that is July. Blackbird Designs Liberty House. I really like this one. I like the blues. Blues in there. Souvenirs of Summer. And this is Blackbird Designs. So tiny, it's hard to see them all. Let me see. Oh, I like this one a lot. Look at that. Love that one. Ooh, 
This is Blackbird Design, Sweet Land of Liberty. And this was the piece that I had done in the square. Every pattern in this, this one is really nice. Patriotic Patchwork, and this is Blue Urban Designs. All Things Great and Small, and this is Chris Stitches. And I thought it was Patriot because it has a flag in here in the middle. But I think they're just the flag. You don't have to do the whole piece. And that is it on the Patriotic. There's nothing left. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing all those Patriotic pieces and patterns. Uh, you might find something you want to do. I have been busy out in the garden every single day. The first sunflower bloomed, and I will include a picture at the end of the video of the sunflower. It's so pretty. It's definitely uh, autumn colors. I planted a whole bunch more. Uh, throughout the season, I plant, so some will bloom, some are still growing, and you just do like weeks apart, and you will always have a continuous uh, bloom throughout the summer. I've been busy canning and I decided that I was going to can. I did salsa. It's so good. <laughs> it really is good. So I will have some salsa. Um, I will be canning throughout the summer. I am super excited. I am uh, going to be going somewhere. Um, and I'm happy to just get away for a little bit. I don't know when I'm going to be back to do my next video. So if you don't see a hand from me, I'm fine. I have other things going on. I'm excited uh, for this. Uh, North Carolina still has not opened up yet. So <laughs> don't know when I'll be going there. But I'm excited for that. Uh, the summer is here. I cannot believe that we are going into July. I uh, did the patriotic video. Somebody requested it because we do have 4th of July coming up. I hope everybody out there is safe uh, for the 4th of July weekend coming up. Uh, just be safe and alert out there. I did want to say that um, I wasn't going to mention this. I really wasn't. It's it's hard to say, but my dad has cancer and he's going for treatments. Um, this is hard for me. I don't know why. Uh, and I'm sure he'll be fine. It's only like stage one or stage two colon cancer. He is going for treatments. Um, they're not spring chickens anymore though. Uh, my dad does live in Florida. Florida is very bad right now. so. Definitely not traveling down to that area anytime soon. With everything going on, it, it doesn't make it easy to travel. And I don't know when I'll be able to go and uh, see him. But I know the only reason why I'm putting it out there is because I know there's a ton of prayer warriors uh, that do watch. So if you want to pray for my dad, I know he would appreciate that. And I would appreciate that. His name is Tom. Um, and I wasn't going to say anything. I've known for a little while, but it's not something anybody really wants to talk about. There's so much going on with everyone nowadays. Uh, I just hope everybody stays safe out there. On my last video, I'm going to try and pull this down. I had so many people ask about this quilt. And this quilt, it's been in my videos forever. I've been doing videos for over, it's probably three and a half years now. And I've, I've always had this quilt out and around. I used to quilt. I don't quilt anymore because it's another expensive hobby. <laughs> and fabric, fabric these days is off the charts as, as much as the cost is in top quilting. And I'm going to see, here, hold on a second. I'm going to see if I can 
stand up. Give me a moment. Okay, so I'm opening the quilt, and as you can see, you're not going to see it all. <laughs> I could go to the other side of the room if you want. It's very long. This is a Bargello design. I love this quilt. It's rainbow. It's every color. I love every color. It's hard to pick one color. I'm a blue person, but I love all color, and I absolutely love this quilt. And I did this years ago. And my sister Cheryl taught me how to quilt. She's she's a big quilter. Uh, this is what she does. So I did want to show that. <laughs> I know it's hard to insert that in, and it goes down. <laughs> it's too long for me. But anyway, I did want to open that up before people were asking about that. Give me one second. Okay, I hope you enjoyed me trying to open it the best I can. Uh, it's it's super, it's really long type uh, quilt. And I did enjoy uh, my quilting time. I did a couple of quilts. I did one for each of my children. I did this one. I did a fish one. A, a couple of them. I don't, I don't have a whole lot. I have a couple of quilts, that's it. I'm just not a big quilter anymore. Now, I hope everybody has an awesome weekend. I have some good footage of um, a baby cow feeding with his mom. Um, I caught that on video. It's super cute. I'll attach that and the ducks are all big and they're not ducklings anymore. I hope everybody has a safe 4th of July. And until we meet again, everyone, happy stitching. Thank you.